how to make really easy diagrams to go in your LinkedIn content, whether it's a standalone post or whether it's in your carousel post. Uh, today, I want to show you how to use a brilliant tool that I have discovered called Napkin. And I'm just going to show you, first of all, what I created with it. So this is a carousel post I did on um, LinkedIn benchmarks. And if we just jump into it, you can see these fantastic little images which are showing content engagement rates, um, different formats, content formats. But basically, what we're looking at is really nice visual displays of data on a LinkedIn post. And if I go and I show you another one that I have created, this is another one I created, which is an overview of the benefits of using LinkedIn Premium. Now, why are these, why am I using these images? Well, if you look at the um, engagement on these posts, you will see that there are 14 comments on here. So it's a bright image, it attracts attention. It's summarizing the key information from a YouTube video. So I've created a YouTube video about this information and I've created this graphic representation of what's in the video and put it on LinkedIn as a post. And it's got 19 comments so far, which I count as pretty good engagement here on LinkedIn. So what is this tool and how can we use it? Let me jump across now. So it is called napkin.ai. It is in beta form at the minute. Um, but let's see, get visuals from your text. Now you need to be prepared in here because you don't just go to these tools and just start typing stuff in, although I suppose you could do. <laughs> but what we want to do is get some text and turn it into visuals. So my suggestion is we go to my blog post, first of all. So I'm gonna grab a recent blog and it says, how to use LinkedIn events to promote your next workshop. So here's one here, how to create your event on LinkedIn. I'm gonna copy that text and I'm gonna go back to Napkin. So we're gonna sign in and you can get it for free, which I love. Uh, so we'll sign in here and we're going to go and create a new napkin. So we're going to do blank napkin and it says untitled. So what I'm going to do is um, LinkedIn events. So this napkin's called LinkedIn events. I'm going to paste in the text from my blog. So this is what I want to make the napkin on and you'll see that it is selecting it says generate visuals. So I think what I want to do here is create a visual on what you need to add when you're creating a LinkedIn event. So we will click on generate visuals. So that was down the left-hand side of the text. I selected that section and it starts to show you different options. So what I love about this is they've got different styles. So what do we want to do to prepare for our Ooh, elements of event success. This looks nice. Um, so there's all these different options down the left hand side. What one works best for my audience? I actually think, oh, I quite like this one. So let's click on styles. And then it has got these different color options. And you can see there are different fonts as well. And what, pick your one that you want. Now for a premium account, you can add in your own style. But just for the purposes of showing you this today, I'm going to select this one. And now we have all the information, event link, event image, dates and times, event description, and speakers list. So all the things we need to remember for a LinkedIn Live. I want to change this text to say um, key. Okay, so I'm gonna select that. And now we can change the text. So I might want to change that to maybe Arial. And I can make it in bold and center it. All this stuff. And you can change the text. The You can change the color if you want. And let's see. Maybe do this. Okay. So key elements for your LinkedIn Live. I don't like the gray. So I'm going to go back in there. And I'm just going to actually have it as black text. So here we have... 
and such an easy way to create the document and just export it. I want to export it as a PNG file and I do want to have a background because I don't want it to be clear. I don't, you can also have it. So you can remove the background so it is a clear image. But what I want to do is have a background on mine and let's see the resolution of it. Color mode, I want light, I don't want dark. And then I'm going to download my image. And that is how you create a really nice image, a graphic that you can now use for your LinkedIn post. And I will just show you what I'm going to do next with this. Because we want to use this content to raise our profiles on LinkedIn. So if we go to start a post, what do I want to talk about? Okay, remember our text that we had, so let's put it in here. What I'm doing is I'm driving people back to my YouTube channel. I want to um, add in a few little bits for myself here. Okay, top tip. So it's not just, so you do want a little bit of editing on these things. You know, we're just copying and pasting. Okay. And these are just the little tips. These are the little edits that I make that make a difference to your post. You know, we want to create posts and, con and content on LinkedIn that help our audiences um, and, and drive more traffic to your audiences. So are you using LinkedIn events to drive traffic to your next webinar? Put in our image. So we're gonna upload our image. Here we go. Key elements for your LinkedIn Live. Click next. And are you using LinkedIn? So the post is ready. And I'm going to click on that to say post. Now what I want to do, of course, is drive people back to my website. So I'm going to go back to grab the URL for the website and I'm going to go in here and I'll say read. All right. So we don't put that link into the post because LinkedIn does punish us for that. So I am still putting it into my first comment and uh, it remains to be seen if that's impacting my content or not. So I hope you have found this um, useful. Um, napkin AI, if we go back to Napkin, um, it keeps your napkins in here in your library. So make sure you name them properly. But it's not a brilliant tool for creating um, images that you can use really quickly in your LinkedIn content. Let me know if you're going to try it out.